Okay, in this tutorial I'm running Packet Tracer and what I want to do is is I want to upgrade this network from PVST Plus per VLAN Spanning Tree Protocol Plus to Rapid PVST Plus which is Cisco's preferred implementation of RSTP or Rapid Spanning Tree Protocol. And why is that? Well, Rapid uh, PVST Plus is RSTP, Rapid Spanning Tree Protocol, but it also has the benefits of the per VLAN Spanning Tree Protocol. So you can have multiple instances of the Spanning Tree per VLAN. So in this case, we've got VLAN 1, VLAN 5, and these guys on VLAN 1, VLAN 5. And so this switch up here, S1, is the root bridge for VLAN 1, and the secondary root bridge for VLAN 5. And then this switch over here is the root bridge for VLAN 5 and the secondary bridge for VLAN 1. So the spanning tree off this switch is running for basically for VLAN 5. It's making the decisions for VLAN 5 about how to close loops on the network. And S1 here is making decisions using the spanning tree algorithm and spanning tree protocol to close loops for, um, for its VLAN right and that way you can have um, better decisions based on the VLAN and the hosts on the VLAN. Now a couple of things that we're going to need to do for rapid uh, PVST plus or rapid spanning tree protocol is we're going to have to execute this command right here so I've got it highlighted here we're going to say spanning dash tree mode rapid PVST or rapid dash PVST and then we're going to have to go into um, our interfaces and we're going to have to set the interface type to be either uh, point to point or a shared type and we have to do that and I've got this highlighted here spanning dash tree link dash type point dash to dash point um, because in rapid spanning tree protocol non edge ports meaning ports that are going to go from switch to switch switch to switch switch to switch switch to switch so these are trunk ports essentially or non edge ports edge ports are um, over here these edge ports are ports right here that are going from the switch to a host not to another switch right so for non-edge ports these ports right here we're going to have to set them to point to point now if they were shared we'd set them to shared if one of these trunks was basically a link instead of a trunk it would be a link to let's say a hub right so that'd be shared media right ethernet shared media going to a hub and then from that hub maybe linking to other switches right but there are, is no shared media here where there's no hubs these are all switches so these are point-to-point -point, uh, link types that we need to configure now the first time I configured this uh, basically the network went down so and I'm not sure exactly why maybe because I'm not able to run this command right here in packet tracer which is clear spanning dash tree detected protocols uh, the command is not available on the switches so um, it looks like it could be necessary for kind of clearing out previous uh, spanning tree protocols and trying to establish a new, um, a, a new mode for it. Let's see if we can, this time, when I'm going to try to activate it, I'm going to try to shut off spanning tree protocol first. So I'm going to go into the switch, say let's this switch right here. And you can see I've already got it brought up here. I'm in global config mode. I'm going to put no spanning dash tree mode. So we'll say enter, right, and then control C, and then we'll say show span. And you can see that it still shows that spanning tree is um, running, right? So that's curious, right? Conf T, no span, no spanning tree, no spanning tree mode, PVST no spanning tree mode rapid okay um, no spanning tree mode at all right and we go back in and we'll see that if we do a control C and do a show span for show spanning tree you can see that it's still enabled right so that's problematic we can't shut off spanning tree so I'm not sure if this is gonna work um, I'm not even able to shut it off right now so let's see if we can just we'll try one more time to make this thing work so we'll say conf T and we'll say spanning 
tab tree mode rapid tab rapid dash pvst now that's a global config command to turn it to rapid mode then we'll say interface gigabit two slash one we'll say spanning spanning tree li tab for link type and then po tab for point to point right now why is that well on this switch down here it has one edge port or non-edge port I'm sorry it has one non-edge port that is a point to point port link type and it needs to be configured that way so that's what I did here I said interface gigabit 2 slash 1 spanning dash tree link dash type point dash 2 dash point so anyway this one has been reconfigured now and it's now running rapid spanning tree if we do a control C and a show run you can see that spanning tree mode rapid dash PVST all right now now what I'm gonna do is is I'm going to let's say save the configuration okay and we've got that configuration saved up right and then I'll go in here and I'll just shut off the interfaces really quickly so that we can give this thing a chance to work so we'll go to let's see here gigabit 2 slash 1 I'll turn off the interface I'm cheating by doing it through this little GUI tool 4 slash 1 off and 5 slash 1 off okay so I just shut off those interfaces and then we'll go around the horn and we'll do it for each one so we go to the next switch and we'll say command line interface enable conf t span tab spanning tree mode ra for rapid tab rapid pvst right interface gigabit one slash one to get to gigabit the first gigabit port and we'll say span tab spanning tree li for link tab link type and then po tab point to point right then up arrow twice two slash one same thing up arrow all right and then up arrow three slash one and then up arrow spanning dash tree link dash type point to point okay so we just did the same thing for this switch right here s3 okay um, now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna shut down all of its ports right we'll just pretend that this is something that we're gonna do really quickly there it is one slash one off two slash one off notice the command it shows you the command shut down we could have just done it right after we had did our commands there okay so that's done all right, we'll do the next one using the command line interface so that we're not cheating, so to speak. So now for S1, what I'll do is I'll just go in here, command line interface, and I'll say enable conf t. All right, and what I'll do is I'll say spanning dash tree mode ra tab rapid pvst plus right which is essentially just rapid dash pvst but i believe it's rapid actually dash pvst plus i'll say interface gigabit one slash one and span tab spanning tree li tab link type po tab point to point right and that's for one slash one right here right and i have to do three slash one so we'll go up here and up arrow till we get to three slash one and then up arrow twice and point to point and then what I can also do is I could do a shut command for shut down right and then I can go to one slash one right and do a shut command so now I've shut down those interfaces right so now I've configured them for rapid spanning tree but then I've I've actually shut them down so that we'll start everything up at the same time and see if we can get it to work so we'll do the same thing over here 
and I'll pause the video, I'll do it for these three switches, and then I'll come back and, and start up the recording again. Okay, so I've shut down all of the interfaces, but I did the configuration commands on all the switches. So for instance, if we do this and we do a show run, we should see spanning tree mo mode, rapid PVST, and then on the gigabit ports that we're using, we should see point to point, which we do. So at least we do on this switch. So now it's a matter of just going in and turning on all of the ports and allowing this to work. So we're going to start with our uh, root bridges and we'll turn them on and we'll go down the line. So we'll go to S1 here and what we could say is we could say interface gigabit one slash one and then we could do a no shutdown, right? And then we could do interface three slash one and then a no shutdown, right? So that turns on the two interfaces that we need there, right? So then now we'll go over here to um, S2 and do the same thing. So we'll say three slash one, no shut, okay, and then one slash one, no shutdown, and that turns those on, right? So we've just turned on the interfaces for both of these switches. Now go to S3 here, and we'll do the same thing. 